All right, guys, today we're going to do a little how to video on putting on a Cat 5e male connector, male plug for RJ45 Cat 5e. Uh, things you'll need, of course, is Cat 5 or Cat 5e, which has, let's see here, one, two, three, four pair, four pairs of conductors. And if you buy these ideal connectors, you'll notice that there's two configurations that you use. There's the T568A or the T65AB for AT&T. Now, generally, if you're just running your Ethernet connections from one computer from your uh, modem, it doesn't matter whether you use A or B, so long as that both ends are a, if you have one end's A, the other end has to be A. So that's one thing you're going to need to know. And these are your little connectors here. And of course, um, with this, here comes a good set of instructions. It tells you how to strip out your wire, how far, and everything. And the other tool that you'll need is a pair of crimpers similar to this. This here happens to be a set that will do three different kinds of um, phone type connections so I'm working on getting my wires paired up for the A configuration and it's showing me that I have to have my striped green first and then my solid green striped orange solid orange and then my solid blue wire and when you do this I always like to take it straighten them out good like this so you got a good nice straight connection and then we're going to straighten out our light blue and we're just kind of kind of fan them out like this and then last is going to be light brown and then brown according to the T568A configuration so we're going to get these untwisted and we're going to pull them out a little bit straighten them out some of the kinks out of them. Now I've got all my wires fanned out fairly straight. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm going to kind of pull them together like so. I'm trying to stay in focus the camera here people. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pair of wire cutters and cut about half of an inch. So from the jacket to the edge of the wires I'm cutting is only going to be about a half inch. That way when it does go up inside of this connector there's no actual wire exposed outside of this connector. You don't want that. So I'm going to pause this and go get my cutters and then I'm going to show you how to install the wires up into this connector and crimp it.